I wanted to take just a second to show a couple of tips when taking apart the um, AR-15 goat guns. And this will work for pretty much any any of the formats, whether you've got this one or any of the other formats, even some of the new releases. They are held together with a pressed and pin set up here with a spring in there. Uh, we're also gonna talk just briefly about getting this magnet out. Some of these things sometimes scare everybody. I wanna just show you how easy it can be to do it on your own. Get yourself a nice punch. It needs to be a sharp one like this. Pick would be more accurate. And you're gonna get that little pin, let me get in there, that little pin right there, we're gonna push that through. Now, don't be alarmed, what's gonna happen is it's going to try to push itself all the way inside the lower receiver there. That's okay, that's gonna happen. We're gonna give it a nice, firm, straight down, solid push. Once it's in there, I'm gonna pop it and you're gonna hear it. You just heard it pop. The spring is gonna push the button out. We're gonna get that. We're gonna dump our spring out. And then that's the other half right there. So now if you want to um, colorize these or if you have some that are from a different setup, and maybe you want to do just customize all your accessories this is a way to do it and then make sure you don't lose your spring of course i'll bag that up separately and then that makes this guy easier to paint and you don't have to worry about that all being the same color um, or trying to tape it off or whatever it's a pretty big pain the other one is the magnet the magnet's deceivingly easy to remove um, we're going to use just a standard punch and a hammer now I actually have magnetized um, soft grips in my vise. And so when I punch this out, the magnet actually snaps to it and stays, but we're literally just gonna pop that right out, just like that, and there's our magnet. And the magnet, of course, just stick it in there. You can stick it with your little spring so you don't lose it. And then again, you can customize this with no problem. The reverse of this, you just want to set it back in there and then you're going to tap that back in so that it's level. You want it to press back in there nice and neat. You're going to tap it back in there. Now, if you have a nice soft brass punch, that might be even more helpful so you don't mar it up, but I haven't had any issues. You put a piece of tape on there if you want. And then of course this guy, when you go to reassemble it, you're just going to get it right back into there and then you're going to press that back in. You shouldn't have any issues. If you're worried, a tiny little drop of glue will help, but I have yet to have any issues with it afterwards. Now, if you take it in and out all the time, you may, but it's it's pretty seated. Once you snap that thing back together, it's pretty in there. Anyway, tips and tricks. That's what I'm trying to do. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, please help my channel out. Just trying to get this thing going. Subscribe, like it, tell your friends. Have a great one.